Hello everyone, it's me, Tronic TZW, and I've had rather a busy week in weekend, so I've not had a chance to really put any videos on, but um, I have done a, a couple of live streams in the recent week, and there'll be another one coming up today, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. I'm here in Division um, with Chin and Griff. We've got a Jervis, a Flint, and a Cossack, and we're going to play hard, but then we're going to have to play smart. Um... I didn't clip the start of the game for some reason. I think it's because the clock ran down and I only clipped the uh, 15 minutes rather than slightly longer and then trimming it down. But we are here. We are pushing our cap. We are contested on B cap. And we decide that we are going to fight this cap and do whatever the heck we can to take control of it. With... Um, Two sonar destroyers and a cruiser with us as well. We are quite confident that we can potentially shake any red team off this cap. But we are going to play smart with it. We aren't going to get too stupid. Red team are on the cap as well. They've got C cap almost under their control and there's a bit of a stalemate across on A cap which is where all of our big ships are and that is going to prove problematic. Now I've spotted because uh, that guy is within two k's of me so rather than take any fire as we see that salvo come in I decide that I'm going to pop outside of two kilometers and we do get tor two torpedo hits on that graph even though he's zigging zagging. I drop detection and I'm moving away and my intention here is to push out a little bit wider and spot around that corner for red team on this cap. Chin and Griff are both in there. We see torpedoes coming out. So there is very much a big fight for this center cap. As I'm in the tier 6 Jervis, um, I've got these wonderful short smoke screens, which are very good for duck and cover. And um, movement, positioning, stealth. You know, three things that I'm going to use to my advantage in this game. Now, they are only small, sh sh uh, sh only short smoke screens. It's a bit of a tongue twister, that. And as Chin and Griff seem to have control of B cap, I'm going to start moving across to A because we do need to, to get some points up on this one. It's even Stevens at the moment. We can see that key of there. I'm looking for him ready to get some shots on. My smoke's available. And there we go. We pop the smoke screen. He's still on the sonar from, I think it's Griff's cruiser. And we are going to try and pile on the pressure and just make it uncomfortable for him in that cap and try and make him change his mind about being there and push him away from it. So he's taking a lot of damage now, but we have got this Heinrich pushing in and that's a nasty piece of kit and we don't want to be too close to him because he has got sonar, I think, on the Heinrich and uh, yeah, we don't want to get detected. So we spam our torps out, we push across to A cap and as I said, there are three battleships across here, but they're doing that BB thing where they just park against the end of an island and trade blows from one end to the other waiting to you know get an advantage on the amount of damage they've done to one another and then they decide to push through but we do land a torpedo on that heinrich we have unfortunately lost a chin on air cap so a griff is out there on his own so me being in the open and spotting is certainly something that is going to be of value to him but we try to finish off this Heinrich because he has already damaged controls on fires. I'm in my smoke. He's going to be broadside and that gives everybody the opportunity to get a lot of fire onto him. And we get the kill, which is nice. Now there's a Mackinson there as well. I've got torpedoes coming towards me and I'm thinking, oh sugar. There is another two destroyers out there and we don't know where they are yet. Magasin has picked me up on sonar, so as the cap is contested, it is time to get the hell out of dodge. And I see these torpedoes coming straight towards me and manage to slip through them. But I'm still spotted because I'm on sonar. Griff, in fact, no, it's 
Who was it? Chin. Chin was in the uh, flint, sorry. Griff got taken out the Cossack earlier. Chin gets taken out in the flint. And red team have got a bit of an advantage. Not a huge advantage. But um, whereas I could have steered with that battleship there and given him will to rebuild, I would not have survived the secondaries or the salvos coming from that Dallas. So secondaries from the Magnuson, main guns of the Dallas, that would not have been a good position for me. So as there's plenty of our team across there, as in all three of them that are remaining apart from me, I move back to the centre. I know that there is at least one destroyer out here, there's a battleship out here, and we've got the Dallas out here. So now it is time to play smarter. I can see from Twist and Track slash Perceptive that the Dallas is the closest target for me, and I will be keeping an eye on that because I am located, which obviously means I'm the closest target to a ship running that, which means there's a destroyer. Um somewhere nearby and i imagine he's behind us on c cap but we get torpedoes off across the, towards the dallas and i'm firing ap because he is broadside and obviously damaged by ap can't be repaired and i've got those three battleships he's turning and giving them a flank his other option was to sail entirely into a broadside of torpedoes he tries to turn he takes a torpedo to the bow and we pick up kill number two but it's not all about kills and damage this is about caps and control now i've taken that cap i had control of it but now i have got a destroyer behind me and there is the new orleans that is what i don't want to be shot at by so i am going to uh, put some distance between he and i and I'm going to think about what my next move is. I can keep him spotted. I can steer potentially out of um, detection range from this destroyer. And I'm going to move all the way round down to the south and come round behind them on the sea cap. Because I don't know um, what is backing up that destroyer. Certainly I don't want to be near the New Orleans. Um, he is a nasty piece of kit and can absolutely wallop me. And here, he is going to catch one torpedo. Bump, there we go. He is flooding, and this could have potentially been kill number three. But somebody is going to put shots on him. Ba bump he's gone just as I get detected for firing my guns. Because I thought, I've done the work on that. I deserve the kill. Shanhorst obviously knows where I am now. I am no longer located, which means that the destroyer is closer to the battleships than he is to me. Now again, the Shanhorst, I don't particularly want to be stupidly close to him because he has secondaries. He also has torpedoes. We do have the advantage now because we've brought it back from 4-4 to 4-V-2. But all my support is still there on A cap. Shanhorse seems to change his mind about going up against three battleships. And where I consider moving in against B cap, I still don't know where this destroyer is. So I'm going to continue my commitment to pushing round to C. Because if the destroyer is heading for A cap and those battleships, there's a chance that he might sink some of them or all of them so i need to get the points advantage by taking the caps and the reason i'm going for c cap is that i have got the time to push and take c cap then come back towards b cap and the enemy destroyer would probably want to try and take a cap. So I have the potential to take two full caps for the enemy destroyer, taking one cap and potentially killing a couple of battleships. So it could come down to a last man standing kind of situation with myself versus another destroyer. I'm going to be clever with my shots here 
because there are a number of small islands between me and the Sharnhorst, and I'm just looking for where those are. He is going to disappear behind that island, so we put a shot out, and then we drop detection. We get a fire on him. That is ticking. It is sticking. So he comes past that island. Now we've got another island in front of us. So before he disappears from view, we're going to pop another shot on him. So there's a little bit of smart using cover to get the shots off. We land another couple of hits. We're onto the cap. It's one minute for a single ship to turn a cap. And I don't think that Sharnhorst is going to survive for another minute. We don't need to pop our smoke screen because, again, we aren't located, so the Red Team Destroyer is still closer to those battleships. We get a final salvo off as we drop detection again, and we take the Sharnhorst picking up a Confederate. So a Confederate is what? Doing damage of at least 20% of the total hit points of a ship on six ships in one game. So I think for a little Jervis with uh, 14,300 hit points, and I've still got the majority of them there on me, is not a bad little run to pick up a Confederate when you consider um, it's only a handful of torpedo hits and uh, it's mostly, I think, been the guns. But we see where Red Team's final destroyer is. He's popped a smoke screen because he got himself spotted trying to pick himself up a couple of battleship kills. And knowing where he is now and what direction he is in means that I can do as I plan to and push into B cap. Although it is highly unlikely that he is going to kill both of those ships, there is still a chance. So these capture points are going to become very, very important. Excuse me for my phone beeping there. Now he does land some hits on one of those battleships, so they are probably sticking close together to use will to rebuild to regenerate some hit points and try and survive this. That destroyer could be running a you know, purely torpedo reload build, so the game is not won yet. He could torpedo them, and he could torpedo me. I could get very unlucky. But as I tick down the 20 seconds on this cap, there's just over a minute and a half left in the game. So now it's a game of cat and mouse. But again, I'm playing this one for points. I'm playing it for the capture points. We had a very, very tough start to the game with a lot of fighting in multiple directions and here i'm just pinging the map to let the guys know what kind of bearing is on again my two ships are nine and ten point five k's so they are still closer to that destroyer there's some torpedoes he's obviously gone across the top he's fired every single salvo down there adam he could have potentially moved and put them in a bit of a better spread and picked up a kill. But as we drop into the final 40 seconds of the game, he's probably just running and trying to stay alive. We do have enough of an advantage now that if he was to get lucky and kill both those guys, we would still get the win. But we're still going to run him down and hope, perhaps that we can get them spotted before the end of the game. But uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I think he literally just keeps running and running and running and running. And we haven't even broken 100,000 damage. 97,000 is not too shabby. Um, but between us um, in the division, I think we pick up four kills for the three of us. And what surprised me the most was uh, my base XP on this one. But there we go. Game over. 97,500 damage, 3 kills, Confederate, 3 solo caps, 6 top hits, and 72 gun hits. Um, so yeah, not a bad little gun board when you get it going. But there we go, that surprised me. 3,431 
base XP. So I'm guessing that all came from the cap points. Four kills for the division. I hope you've enjoyed watching this one, picked up a few little tips on playing destroyers on shoot, move and smoke and if you have enjoyed watching this one please do consider clicking one of these links and if it's your first time past the channel don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and you'll get notified when new updates are coming. Until next time, take care and goodbye.